All right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jenningham here, people of the world. New subscribers, old subscribers. Apparently, national service is coming back. Does that mean back in the olden days in 1945, 1941, and probably 1914, or long before the olden days? Uh, basically, remember when um, when there was World War One, World War Two where underage boys are fighting in the war at 14 and 15 years old. I mean, back then, I didn't think women underage or girls fighting back in the army then. It was just mostly men. Are they going to be bringing it back again? So what I say about that is, are they going to be bringing these 14-year-old, 15-year-old boys back into the war again? Will it happen again? If they're bringing back national service, does that does that mean World War Three is coming? Does that mean World War Four is coming? Not to technically be, you know, back in the olden days, it was probably very terrible. Last week, on the anniversary of extra justice kills of, uh, it talks about Bin Bin Laden on this old paragraph thing. Uh, Cat walk, and it talks about hangers, um, Afghanistan, and all these things in the past. Um, it just talks about loads of things. This is an old video that I'm showing you. But uh, this is back in the olden days, as you can see here. Will they be bringing that back? A point of view. National service, as you can see here. And, uh, yeah. It could come back to 2021, which we're in now. Does that mean World War Four is coming? It says, God and country after collapsing uh, president. And talks about uh, the olden times when Obama was president as well. So you can see here, Obama was the president a while ago back, but now it's uh, it was Donald Trump, and now it's Joe Biden, as we all know. But saying that, talks about all the olden times of the war when Tony Blair was in there as well. So basically, we're going to be trying to look at this. No stuck, and it talks about. Um, Obama together back in the olden days when Obama was president of the US Navy talks about uh, infiltration plus back in the olden days with this with woman on a tank British tank talks about her as well as you can see goes back to your history obviously uh, taking the leader and it uh, just, it just talks all about migration and stuff and Tony Blair when he was in the war as well, and Cameron bicycling for a uh, look for a little future. Um, talks about there's loads of stuff in here, but you could all see guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. That's Tony Blair, used to be our Prime Minister in the UK, and that was Boris Johnson, then it was uh, Gordon Brown, then it was Theresa May in the UK of our Prime Ministers, got loads of different Prime Ministers. Um, then we've got a bit of old picture footage of the olden days in the army. As you can see here. Olden days footage. Then we've got this roll up of lining up. See there? I mean, like I say, is 1904 going to be coming back? 1945, 1941. Is this what's going to be happening in 2021? They're going to be recalling in underage people to join the army. Um, unless they're going to prepare them for war until they get older. Who knows? But it seems a bit of a co co coincidence. I've been watching this other YouTube uh, channel called um, uh, Carl. He reckons they're going to be bringing in national service again. Does that mean you get drafted into the army, like, across the whole world? Men and young boys and... Uh, Young um, women these days can be put into the army, and young girls will be put into the army. I mean, it depends what they're into. I mean, not everybody's into war, but it gives you the point back in the olden days that only men joined the army, but now it's different. But my point is, are they going to be bringing it back? That's try. That's what I'm trying to get to, and there's probably going to be a lot of scared people. I'm sure most family members don't want to see their loved ones going to be fighting in an army. They'd like to have them by the side. 
but I just thought I'd mention it on the video to tell you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is it something you really want to do? I mean, is it something that we will, like, will we have a choice? If you get drafted into the army and you have to go in by law, like they do in Germany and then in Turkey for a couple of years, uh, are they bringing that back? That's what I'm trying to get at, get at. And you won't have a choice not to go in the army. You have to go in the choice to go in by law. That's what they did in 1945 and probably any other year or any olden days thing they did. You had to be there as fighting for your country. If you didn't, then they would uh, discharge you or probably shoot you in the army for betrayal. But these days they don't. So anyway, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, give that give that some thought. But anyway, I better go. Thank you for joining me. See you next video. Peace. I will back again soon.